Michael Bloomberg is at it again. He's looking to buy Virginia again in this election, and there's a big reason why. Sit by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets to learn more. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Today is Monday. It's a little late. I had to go down to uh, Cranston and see my buddies uh, Dan, Brendan, and John. Uh, but we are here with the Monday Morning Grind brought to us by Blackout Coffee. If you want the freshest small batch roasted coffee in the land, check us out, blackoutcoffee.com GNG. We have some great swag. Hoodies are back in stock just in time for fall. And uh, let's jump into this little ditty I have for you. Michael Bloomberg, via Every Town for Gun Safety and Moms Demand Action, are looking to spend at least, at least another $1.8 million in Virginia for the 2022 elections, looking to buy the elections again. Why? Because a part of it is a lot of people are so upset with what's happened in the last two years, as the as every, every town two years ago, every town for gun safety, they turned Virginia blue, because for a lot of reasons. But uh, they're looking to solidify that because a lot of people are, are very upset about the, the anti-gun uh, swing in Virginia, and they're looking to rise up and have some better people elected, I guess. Maybe some better people are running. I am not in Virginia. I don't know everybody who's running, but what I will tell you is that $1 million of that, at least 1.8, at least 1 million of it, is going to go to uh, help fund or to help the campaign of the former governor in Virginia, Terry McAuliffe. This is a picture of Terry McAuliffe, and he, like I said, he's a previous two-term Virginia governor, but in the past, he has sparred with Every Town for Gun Safety. He's even called them an out-of-state uh, group looking to meddle in state politics. But now they're paying him a lot of money. What does that tell you, folks? I don't even have to say anymore. They're going to spend at least a million dollars in his campaign, and they are campaigning for him on the ground. Shannon Watts and her moms demand some type of action. And their minions are volunteering to go door to door and knock on everybody's door in Virginia until, quote unquote, people are sick of hearing from us, end quote. Uh, and that's, they have a pretty solid little ground army. When I was in Georgia for the Senate uh, elections trying to get door, I was actually knocking on people's doors trying to get people to get out and vote. Um, every town in Moms Demand Action, they were a big presence there, a very big presence. So they're going to do the same again in uh, Virginia, and they're starting now. So that's 1 million, at least 1 million of the at least 1.8 million. And where is the other money, uh, the rest of the money going to go? Well, there are 12 Democrat races that Bloomberg and his cronies want to buy, and they're going to spend at least a half a million dollars on those 12 races, and they're all four uh, races in the House of Delegates. That's what it's called in Virginia. It's the House. Um, he also is uh, going to contribute uh, at least $300,000 uh, to the campaign of a former lawmaker, Hala Ayala, who is running for lieutenant governor. So he wants to buy the governor's office, he wants to buy the lieutenant governor's office, he wants to buy uh, the House of Delegates. Well, what would be left? Well, that's right, he's also going to put some of that $300,000 towards the attorney general race. The attorney general is Mark Herring, and he's running for his third term, so Bloomberg is going to try to buy his office as well. Now I'm going to read you a quote by this person. This is John Feinblatt. He's the president of Every Town for Gun Safety. He said, Voters are seeing an epidemic within an epidemic. We've had to deal with the COVID pandemic, but what we're also seeing is a rise in violent crime. And that's making voters even more supportive of gun safety laws. No mention by him that this epidemic of gun violence is a direct result of the policies put in by the Democrats. Nope, no, no mention of that at all. The, uh, the catch and release issue in uh, New York, which has led to skyrocketing uh, shootings and, and, and all kinds of violent crime. No mention to the defund police stuff that the Democrats keyed in the last uh, election that has led to like a 900% increase in uh, in homicides and shootings in Portland. And I, th I think it's still burning for those who live in Portland. I mean, I think it's still burning. Um, no mention of that. But they're going to make sure that the people don't remember that stuff from two years ago because people don't, you know, they just do what CNN tells them to do. 
uh, but no mention of, of the truth. Now, for those who are going to say, hey, Jared, $1.8 million isn't a lot of money. Well, they flipped the entire state from red to blue with only $2.5 million last time. Um, so uh, if, you live in, if you live in Virginia, do not let what happened last time happen again. Get out and vote. Talk to your friends. Talk to your, uh, your, your neighbors and everybody. Anybody who's sick and tired of what's going on, you got to get them out to take some action. If you know some pro-Constitution people who might want to help the community and help the state, maybe get them to run for office. Um, I don't know, man. It's uh, I'm just bringing you the news. I know there's a lot of things people are saying about elections and stuff, and, and I believe me, I'm with you on 90% of it. Uh, but I want everybody to know that Virginia, you're a target again, and Bloomberg is dropping the dollar bills again in order to secure and keep Virginia blue and anti-gun. So pass that along. Specifically, if you live in Virginia, spread this like wildfire. You can help out by hitting the like button down below and share this with everybody you, you know. Uh, gun shops, rod and gun clubs, fish and game. Let the folks know, because uh, those are most of the people who stayed home two years ago saying that'll never happen in Virginia. And guess what? Virginia lost uh, to the Democrats. So pass it along. And uh, if you're into Second Amendment news, just about as fast as it happens, consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, with your subscription, this channel and our voice get stronger. And the more we know, the better off we are in the long run because we can row this boat in the same direction. And uh, I don't know about you, but it's all about freedom at any cost. Till we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Please check out Blackout Coffee. We have some really good things and some big announcements coming up, uh, and I hope that uh, you will partake. With that said, have a fantastic day. I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.